Hey, this is Bill Sandell. You're listening to Brigade Radio 1. You're listening to Brigade Radio 1. Okay, yeah, stop right. me if you heard it, but you, le- you left me an opening for my Silence of the Lambs, Barry Levinson analogy. Have you heard it? No. Uh, no. Okay, Barry Levinson, a buzzkill that he is at a party. At t- just kidding, actually. He's hilarious. But he goes, let me give you all the reasons why you should hate Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, it's one of my favorite movies. I'm sure Truly's heard this many times because no. he's practically a co-host around here. No, never And he heard. goes, you know what they didn't put in the movie uh, is that scene where the watch commander gets all the cops together and okay, goes, okay, boys. We got the world's most dangerous cannibalistic killer coming to town. So Jenkins, Hoskins, you guys are going to watch him. You'll be up top of the skyscraper. Don't worry. We manufactured a very fine cage to house this individual. Any problems? Give us a buzz. We'll be in the lobby with the SWATs 40 floors down. We'll jump in the elevator. We're right up. And then he goes, and he goes oh, and by the way, Jenkins, uh, we didn't have time to build a little tray to slide his food in. So when he's hungry, just walk in there and uh, handcuff him to something. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to you. That was the, that was the amazing Charles Napier as the guard. Yes. So he could do, he can do no wrong. No, and we all, you know, I, I, Charles Napier is in my personal Hall of Fame because he was at the, the tail end of the response of, Murdoch, I'm coming. Knuckles crack around the mic stand. I'm coming to get you, John Rambo. I'm coming out of this Cambodian shithole, buddy, and I'm flying right to your Senate office, and I'm going to shove your head into a chopper blade. It's like Charles Xavier, the, the ultimate bad guy. <laughs> and of course, he started suddenly. The, like, like the Vietnam heat is not enough to make you want to loosen your ties. Suddenly, he's got to really loosen his tie. Like, Wait, Rambo's talking to me on a coded signal from a Viet Cong encampment loaded with now r- I'm Russian hot. command. <laughs> this day is just totally <laughs> Rambo. He might as well be outside the door. He might as well be right there. It's Rambo. <laughs> oh, my oh man. Which, uh, First Blood was a great movie, although he still haven't got a lot of heat for it. Anyway, uh, well, how did we get on? Oh, you brought up Silence of the Lambs and how yeah. Jonathan Demme hoped he would win, too. Yeah, he was, he Big was loss. so nice. You know? Yeah. He, yeah, everything that I've heard about him and his brother, who also is unfortunately gone now, is... Uh, it was his brother and nephew. I think it was his nephew. Ted. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh well, I'm who sorry. Died at 40 playing yeah. basketball yeah. or something Man. crazy. Like yeah, that. Every, everything that I have heard about both of them, they were just... Yeah. Well, in, in fact, I, I know a little bit about Ted and his family. They, they're, they were wonderful, wonderful guys, and also incredibly talented. You know, it's it's a shame. Well, Silence of the Lambs is one of my favorites, despite Barry Levinson ruining it for all of us. <laughs> I like Married to the Mob. I thought that was an amazing movie. Yeah, yeah, you know. that was that was yeah. something wild. I mean, come okay. on, oh, she, she takes that wig off, and you're like, yeah. what? Still, yeah. well, nobody has done that kind of genre, which is, hey, it's funny, it's funny. Oh, my God, it's not funny. Um, right, you know, that's I mean, exactly that, Ray right. Ray Liotta, uh, like, oh my God. Uh, I, yeah. you know what? It actually kind of confused me because I was having so much fun in the movie. Yes. And it's like, I'm scared. I Suddenly I'm it. scared, yeah. <laughs> Although I have to say, in retrospect, you go back and watch... This may be heresy, but um, what's her face in Silence of the Lambs? Her accent, her southern accent, oh, yeah. Jody? is just terrible. Well, I knew you would have a problem with it because well, you got the real it's, thing. It's just that, well, and I think I've told this story before. I saw Silence of the Lambs on on um, Valentine's Day, and me and my then soon to be wife got super drunk, and we got to the theater. Was late. that the latest X, Mrs. Truly? Or? There's only one. <laughs> One um, X or just one, one X? Truly. Oh, no. okay. Um, the and, and we got there late, and so we had to sit like in the second row. And this was at like the AMC Century. Back 14. when that was a punishment. Seat, Back when, it, yeah, right. <laughs> and and I would I didn't know what the fuck was going on for the first half of the movie because I was drunk and the screen was looming over me, and I was yeah. like, what are there moths up there? You know. I, I, I didn't understand what was happening. <laughs> One more reason why you never see movies with Dan Truly when he's been drinking. He doesn't quite <laughs> utter. Are those moths? Are they, you know what? And But I, I do know that the movie kind of notched down. I just never bought, I have never bought the idea that 
somebody puts on somebody else's face and escapes on a gurney because they can't figure out. That's well, what you I don't feel, buy from that sequence. Well, that, <laughs> that, <laughs> hey, I have done that. I literally have done that. It's not that hard. Mark calls that In a fact, Tuesday. I'm looking at Mark right now, and I'm thinking, is that really? Who really? are you? See, is there any is blood that, on that? Yeah. Yeah. That's Carl Gottlieb. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know who should have been? Sally Yates should have been Clarice Stone. Oh, uh, you know? yeah. Isn't that the truth? You know, I wonder, like, Demi obviously didn't say or never made the correction with Jody like hey the accent's not working why don't we just play as a character from New York which is just as tough gives you just as much of a background I mean she well probably, because she, she, um, she was sorry, she was probably that. warming up for Nell yeah. well, she maybe. was really about to go <laughs> I got leaf wind or whatever I mean she she had yeah. I, she could have been from a small town in Pennsylvania or New York or anywhere yeah. but I think yeah. that was like kind of the thing that she was yeah she because, of, now. because of who is it, Ted Lally, or, or uh, who wrote the yeah, book? Yeah. Uh, who wrote uh, the, the book? Novel? Uh, the the um, novel was what's his face. Uh, Ted Talley wrote the screenplay, Ted Talley, and right. uh, the novel was, you know, he did he did Manhunt, he did all, uh, Harris, uh, yeah, uh, Richard Thomas, Harris, Rich, right. Thomas Richard Thomas Harris, Harris. Yes. who also yeah. Thomas did Harris. Shakespearean actor from Orca, Thomas Harris yes. also wrote who also Black sang Sunday. MacArthur Park, Black yeah, Sunday. Right. starring Robert Shaw and Bruce Dern, you know, where they take this, the, the blimp over the. There's going to be a lot of nails Black Sunday, bottom, sweetie. That's a that's Sweetie, I'm making a boat uh-huh. with a bunch of nails in it. And it's <laughs> it's going to blow up everything. It's going to be great. You better subscribe to this channel before you look uncool. Hey everyone, it's Ethan, the executive director here at Brigade Radio 1. As many of you know, we produce a lot of radio content with people like director Michael Lang of Bones and X-Files, director Steve Sergic of Lost in Space, Daredevil, Luke Cage. We work with a lot of producers as well, from Cindy Caponera of Shameless to Jason Schumann of Role Models to Eric Linus Kaplan of Futurama and Big Bang of Theory. What we need is partnership. Go to patreon.com slash brigade radio one. Become a partner today. Score yourself some concert tickets, VIP access, behind the scenes footage, and all kinds of other craziness. Get involved, become a partner. Help us not only deliver great radio content, but also help make the world a better place. Go to patreon.com slash brigade radio one.